properties facilitate ways to easily parameterize values in SOAP UING so that you can create dynamic functional tests. Ready API has different levels from which you can actually parameterize. First, we have the global level, which will make these properties accessible throughout your whole workspace. We also have properties at the project level, which makes your properties accessible throughout the whole project. And the same goes for the test suite level and test case level. Now that you know how to set these properties and where to set them, let's see how we can actually use them. So let's jump into one request and you can actually reference these properties by simply right clicking, get data, and pointing to wherever these properties live. We call this motion point and click testing. Okay, so now we're referencing two properties at the global level. This specific request generates a session ID. So I want to make one of my test cases a little bit dynamic and actually reference that session ID so I can easily pass it on to any other test request. You could do that by creating a property and filling it in with property expansion. Now we could reference this session ID property in the rest of the test request by leveraging the point and click motion. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this test case and see how the properties are passed from one step to the other. Let's check out the transaction log. You can see that in the raw we passed in the login. And in the response, we got back JSON with a session ID, which was evaluated by a property in the later steps. Now that you know how to set properties, use them in your test, and generate dynamic properties, you can combine these functionalities together and come up with your own custom scenarios.